Alright everybody, uh, let's continue with the second part of our topic for today. Okay, so we are going to look at the present continuous. Alright, so the present continuous, uh, we are using it when we want to mention actions happening at the time of speaking. So this is the important part. Alright, actions happening at the time of speaking. For example, you are talking to your friend and you want to tell your friend that your dad is making dinner in the kitchen. So, sambil-sambil cakap dengan kawan tu, kawan tanya, eh, ayah awak buat apa? Uh, ayah aku sedang buat makan-makan di dapur. Uh, so, if you translate that to English, it would be, my dad is making dinner in the kitchen. So, just look at this. Okay? So, let's say you went to visit your friend and you ask your friend, hey, what is your brother doing? Then your friend might be replying you, my brother is going his, through his online classes. Alright? So, we usually use is for singular subjects combined with ing. Alright? For the verbs. So, if it is more than one, then we are going to use are combined with verb ing. Okay, now we go on to temporary or changing situations. What does this mean? Okay, situation adalah situasi. Alright, situasi. Just let me change the pen. Alright, situation. Okay, situation adalah situasi. Or situasi yang sentiasa berubah. Okay, now. My cousin is staying with us for the holidays. Sepupu saya sedang tinggal bersama kami sepanjang cuti ni. Maksudnya habis cuti, sepupu kamu akan balik ke tempat dia sendiri. So, your cousin is only staying with you during the holidays. After that, he or she is going to leave. Okay, now, second example, she is becoming more and more frustrated. Frustrated ni lebih kurang macam dia ada kecewa, ada marah, ada sedih, semua tu, everything. So, keadaan dia pada masa tu, the situation with her at that time is she is feeling more frustrated. Maybe 10 minutes after that, she will feel better. Okay, now, next. We also use the present continuous when we are describing annoying habits. Okay. Annoying habits. Benda yang buat orang lain marah. Often with adverbs like always. So you combine it with always. Alright. My coach is always criticizing me. So mungkin kamu selalu buat kesalahan semasa dalam perlawanan dan sebagainya. So you latih kamu selalu kritik kamu. Or for example, my teacher is always scolding me. Cikgu saya selalu marah saya. Kenapa? Because your habit perbuatan kamu buat cikgu kamu marah. Okay? Now, go on. Our next part is here. Alright? We use the present continuous when we are talking about plans and arrangements for the future. Okay? Untuk esok lusa dan masa hadapan. She isn't seeing her friends Tomorrow, esok dia tak akan jumpa kawan dia. So, in English, we say she isn't seeing her friends tomorrow. What if she is going to see her friends? So, you use she is, then work, I-N-G. She is going to see her friend tomorrow. So, orang yang mendengar tu, dia tahu benda tu belum berlaku. Tetapi sepatutnya berlaku. Alright? So, for example, I am going to go to class in 30 minutes time. Maksudnya, sir, belum pergi ke kelas. Tapi dalam masa 30 minit akan datang, sir akan pergi ke kelas. So, I use the present continuous. Alright, here I'm highlighting this. Present continuous to describe the actions that I am going to do in the future. Alright. 